Importance of knowledge in Islam is not a disputable matter. The training of a human mind is not complete without knowledge. Knowledge makes a man a right thinker. It helps the man on how to think and how to make decisions. Man is enabled to receive information from the external world, to acquaint himself with past history and receive all necessary information regarding the present. Without knowledge, man is as though he is in a closed room and with knowledge, he finds himself in a room with all its windows open towards the outside world. From the saying of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, with respect to education, we can extract four important dimensions, which can be understood as the theory of seeking knowledge. They are as follows. 1. Time Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. Through these words, we can understand that the Prophet peace be upon him and courage seeking knowledge and being students of knowledge from the time we enter this world till we depart it. The hadith states that we will remain a student throughout our lives. We will never be able to learn everything and so we will be constantly learning something new. It also hints at the element of humbleness that man can never gain complete knowledge of everything. So he needs to continue to seek knowledge till he dies. The learning attitude would also keep the person away from pride as he always feels that he needs to gain more knowledge and he's on the lookout to gain knowledge. 2. Place Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Seek knowledge even if it is as far as China. Through this hadith, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is informing us that acquiring knowledge may require us to travel and experience different places with different people. In other words, do not restrict yourself to your regular environment. Some scholars have commented on the authenticity of this hadith. The hadith actually refers to the efforts a Muslim ought to make even if it requires traveling a great distance in order to acquire knowledge. In view of the fact that in those days, the distance between the Arabian Peninsula and China was not something that could be easily covered by the primitive means of transport such as camel and horses or ships, if one was ready to brave the dangers of the mighty ocean. In another hadith, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Whoever travels a path in search of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him a path to paradise. In this hadith as well, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him has emphasized on encouraging people to travel in order to seek knowledge. And he, peace be upon him, has promised them on their path to paradise, becoming easy through this. When one works hard to gain knowledge, he tends to give value to that knowledge and strives to implement it and share it with others, which ultimately makes his path to paradise easy. 3. Gender Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Seeking of knowledge is a duty of every Muslim. Through this hadith, the Prophet peace be upon him is informing us that we cannot make any excuses. A person can only practice his religion perfectly when he has knowledge. So Islam gives high emphasis on gaining knowledge. We all, men and women, have to make an effort to acquire knowledge. Knowledge that will benefit men and women in this world and the hereafter. When it comes to gaining knowledge, Prophet peace be upon him does not discriminate among male and female but gives equal importance to both. 4. Source Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Wisdom is the lost property of the believer. He should take it even if he finds it in the mouth of a mushrik. Here the Prophet peace be upon him is telling us to take beneficial knowledge from anyone and everyone because it is not about who is saying it. It is about what is being said. This can be understood with the help of a very good example from the life of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. After the battle of Badr, the enemies were prisoners. In an effort to turn his liability into great assets, the Prophet peace be upon him announced that any of these war prisoners who were willing to teach the Muslims to read and write would be freed. The captives were told to teach at least 10 people to be freed. These services were taken instead of collecting ransom money. This is a clear testimony to the special attention of Islam and the Prophet to knowledge and literacy. Conclusion Allah says in the Quran, And among people and moving creatures and grazing livestock of various colors similarly. Only those fear Allah from among his servants who have knowledge. Indeed, Allah is exalted in might and forgiving. Acquiring knowledge will also take a person closer to Allah as Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Whoever seeks a way to acquire knowledge, Allah will make easy his way to paradise. The prime goal of every Muslim should be to gain knowledge, irrespective of his age, effort required, gender or source. If one gains more and more knowledge, then he will understand his life and the world much better. Acquiring knowledge is very important as it makes the person fear Allah. If you are new to our channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. If you like our video, then please drop in a like and share the video with your friends and relatives and gain Sawabe Jariyah.